just through this pre-draft training, uh, I've been working a lot in pick and rolls and a lot of uh, a lot of three-point shooting, just extending my range. Um, you know, of course, the NBA has so many so many sets, and it revolves around the pick and roll. So that's something that I always have to improve. And then my three-point shooting is just something that uh, you know, if you want to survive at the next level as a guard, you have to be able to do it. What uh, what did today represent for you, being out of this pro day with all these GMs and owners, coaches, etc.? Um, you know, to be in, be here at this pro day, it was, it was something special. Uh, just another opportunity, really. That's how you look at it. Uh, you can never really uh, enjoy the moment because everything you're doing during this time is, is an interview. You know, that, that little pro day right there was an interview. Anything, anytime I talk to, you know, any of these guys that, you know, want to have me in the organization is an interview. So uh, I think that's how I look at everything. Uh, but it is a very, very special opportunity. What do you think they were able to see from you? Um, today, I think they're able to see that I can handle the handle the uh, you know the ball in the pick and roll. I can make good decisions out of it. I can score out of it. Uh, really, um, there's not a, a true weakness to my pick and roll game. So I think um, I think that's that's a testament to you know all the the work I've done during pre-draft training and uh, you know kind of just expanding my game in that area. Where does that versatility come from? We saw you play anywhere from one to five in college. Um, offensively and defensively has that always been the type of player you've been yeah just kind of whatever the job is uh getting it done uh and that you know the job isn't always um easy it's not always uh you know your position but you know if the other the other team's point guards you know really uh you know kick kicking your team's butt you know maybe you got to switch on them and you, know, you get the job done so uh just kind of whatever it takes to get the job done it's kind of always been my mindset did, did the bigger schools miss on you, or did you just get significantly better? Obviously, everything worked out great for you in the mm. end. You went to the NCAA tournament. You had an amazing college career. But there's no question that you could have played, you know, at a BCS level before. I think we saw that pretty early on in your career. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say uh, you know bigger schools missed on me because I wasn't you know just uh, a cold-blooded killer coming out of uh, you know high school. Uh, but I know that. I'm very thankful for the staff at SFA, and uh, because without them, I wouldn't be the player I am today. Uh, I mean, they um, significantly improved my game, and they saw it in me before I saw, I saw it in myself. So uh, I really, you know, have to thank those guys. And so I, I can't say that the bigger schools missed on me. I think I improved a ton. How would you rate yourself as a shooter right now? I'd rate myself as a shooter probably around a uh, a five. Uh, can definitely shoot it better, but. Uh, you know, I'm there because I feel very, very comfortable in my mid-range game, and uh, I'm confident in my three-pointer. Just, uh, you know, just something I have to continue to work on. So I don't think it's a lack of confidence or anything. Just, you know, got to stay in the gym and keep working at it. Are settings like this and Portsmouth, where you're able to go up against, you know, the the, the, the big name guys, did that did that help you? Considering that. They only, Scott's only got a couple opportunities during your career to see you against, you know, the elite level program. Yeah, doubt, events like this are great for me. Um, you know, like this, like you said, Portsmouth, the Reese's All-Star Game. Uh, you know, games and uh, situations where they can show, where I can, where I can show against, you know, real competition guys, you know, real athletes, you know, guys that are going to be in the league. Um, I think it's a really, really good opportunity because, like you said, most people see me play twice all year. And that was, you know, in March. So uh, I think it's a great opportunity. It's something I have to take advantage of. Great stuff, man. Thanks awesome. So much. Really appreciate it. Yeah.